Let's get ready to rumble! You know, this is... Uh, I'm a boxer. You know, I'm not a businessman. <laughs> All right, so apparently Triple G is not a he's not a businessman. You know what? I believe it. I honestly I believe it. He's not a businessman and it's obvious or else he'd be doing a lot better in his career by now. Um He's trying, I see it. He's trying. And and um This is not a bad offer. I know a lot of people are coming out in support of Triple G, like Triple G's, you know, been done wrong, been robbed, mistreated. He was offered at least $10 million, right? $10 million by a guy who's moving up to fight Triple G. Triple G can stay put, stay in his own division. This guy's moving up to fight him. Offering him $10 million. Triple G's team, they don't have the capability to promote this fight. And it's obvious because they can't promote one, one fighter through a whole career, let alone a big fight in a few months. Right? So guess who's going to be doing all the promotions? Golden Boy Promotion. So Triple G and Triple G's team, all they have to do is prepare their fighters, show up for 12 rounds, and get paid. Ten million dollars at least. To me, that's fair. Triple G is no Pacquiao. He's no Pacquiao. Don't fucking bring up Pacquiao and Mayweather. Don't, don't even try it. Pacquiao was selling pay per views. That motherfucker was a pay per view star. He was doing fucking trilogies and selling pay per views. All right, Triple G can't do that shit. He doesn't have that resume. And if you ask for the numbers, they're not there. To be honest, this is a very simple process for Triple G. It's simple, but it's complex. It's simple because there's only two directions you can go. You can either accept the offer or not accept it. But if you want more, you can't come in with the same stats and ask for more. Because that figure is based on the stats you already had. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Like, he can take the $10 million, or he cannot. Go sell more pay-per-views and then come back and ask for more. But there's a risk, right? Because there's no guarantee that if he goes and does another pay-per-view fight, that that pay-per-view fight will be more than his last fight. There won't be... He, he would need, I mean, there's no guarantee. You don't know what's going to happen. Right? I, I, honestly, I think he needs to take the $10 million and make the fight. And um, bite the bullet. Because, man up, man up. I mean, this whole time you said you were ready. The money is there. It's, it, you can't tell me. That 12 rounds with Canelo isn't worth $10 million. Take the money. Fight, win, and then go off and make more. It's looking a little suspicious. It's looking a little suspect that it's taking. Because this offer wasn't made yesterday. This was like a month ago. And they didn't just bring it up until the Liam Smith and Canelo fight. After the fight. So... This has been sitting and marinating on the table. There's an expiration date on every on every deal. There's always an expiration date. Once you wait too long, that figure that you thought was 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 low is going to get lower. So they're they're kind of right now if they wait too long, this is this is something that Triple G is going to have to pay attention on. How his team handles the negotiations for this fight. Because there could be a good chance that he's going to realize that his team isn't, isn't worth shit. 
maybe he might switch over to Golden Boy. Might do him a lot better. Because... I mean, unless it's, if his team can pull off a miracle and negotiate for more money, then obviously, you know, stay. But if his team fucks around and ends up losing this deal and he ends up with a $5 million contract, I would fire them as soon as I can. I would get the fuck out of that contract. Maybe even at that age, retire. But... um. Yeah, and, and, you know, the one thing about Triple G is that he's, he's, it's not just that he's not selling pay-per-views, but um, he's not reaching out for other fighters around him and biting the, like, he had a great opportunity with Andre Ward, a great opportunity, but I don't know. I mean, maybe the negotiations weren't really that serious and it was a lot of talk. But, you know, if it was serious and it didn't go through, I would say that's strike one for your team. Right? And this fight is big enough to make it strike two and three at the same time. You know, Triple G's got a lot of thinking to do because um, he needs to analyze his team and see if they make the right decision. The, the the media and a lot of people have involved automatically jumped on Canelo, and it was part 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 of the problem was was also Golden Boy. Golden Boy fucked around and brought Triple G up on stage after the Amir Khan fight and made a promise, right? Made a promise, but but Oscar Deloya came. <laughs> Came back after the Smith fight and just completely made Triple G's team look so stupid. Look so stupid. Look so bad. So bad. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should should Canelo take um, this offer back after a certain amount of time and maybe offer less? You know, well... <laughs> Or should Triple G come in and, and, and what, what should he, I mean, Triple, to be honest, Canelo doesn't have to do shit. What should Triple G do? Should he t- fight or not fight? That's, that's really the only directions to go. Either you fight or you don't fight. This is Aztec 101 in the ring and I'm out.